jack fruit introduction and history jack fruit is a type cotyledonous compound fruit having its scientific name atrocarpus heterophyllus it is the third largest genus in the maraceae family the jack fruit has only one identified center of origin the indomalayan region more specifically originated in the rainforest of the western ghats of india considering it to be the motherland of jack fruit archaeological findings in india have revealed that jack fruit was cultivated for about 3000 to 6000 years ago it then spread to the neighboring sri lanka southern china southeast asia and farther to the tropical africa from the mid 17th century to the late 18th century the species further spread to the tropical and subtropical america and may have dispersed even further where it is now widely cultivated at low and medium elevations the primary and secondary gene pools of jack fruit have not been identified jack fruit is a largely a cultigen crop found only under cultivation in most parts of bangladesh eastern and southern india it is popularly called as a poor man's food for its nutrient value it is a non seasonal fruit and had a major contribution to the food supply of the people and their livestock when there were short supplies of staple food grains in india the total area of jack fruit under cultivation is approximately 1 lakh hectare majorly grown in the parts of kerala tamil nadu and karnataka jack fruit have three botanical names which are atrocarpus integra atrocarpus integrifolia and atrocarpus heterophyllus of which the last one is widely accepted the word atrocarpus is derived from the greek word atros meaning bread and carpos meaning fruit the term jack fruit is derived from the portuguese jaca which in turn is derived from the malayalam term chaka plant botany jack fruit is a tetraploid its somatic chromosome number 4n is equal to 56 a mature tree produces up to 700 fruits per year each weighing 0.5 to 50 kg all parts of the plant secrete sticky white lactose it grows as a never green tree and has a relatively short trunk and a dense tree top it easily reaches heights of about 33 to 63 feet and a trunk diameter of 30 to 80 cm it sometimes even form buttress roots the bark of the jack fruit is reddish brown and smooth in the event of any injury to the bark a milky juice is released the leaves are alternate and spirally arranged they are gummy thick and divided into petiole and a leaf blade the inflorescences are formed on the trunk branches or twigs jack fruit trees are monoecious that is having both the female and the male flowers on the same tree the inflorescences are pedunculated cylindrical or ellipsoidal in shape inflorescences are initially completely enveloped in egg shaped cover sheets which then rapidly slugs off there are about 100 to 500 seeds per fruit The seed coat consists of a thin waxy parchment like and easily removable testa and a brownish membrane tegment. The cotyledons are usually unequal in size and the endosperm is minimally present. Inflorescence is scantient and the fruit is sorosus. Planting requirements. Soil. It can be grown in a wide variety of soil but performs well in deep rich alluvial soil with a proper drainage facility. Seeds can be used as a sowing material but cannot be for stored for more than a month since it loses its viability soon. Square method of planting is adopted usually. Hexagonal method is used for less fertile soils. Planting either with seedling or vegetative propagules during the monsoon onset is done followed by the staking. In situ planting of about 3 to 4 seeds per gap is followed. Soaking one month old seedling with gibberellic acid at 25 ppm enhances shoot growth the recommended dose of npk per plant per year is 600 is to 300 is to 240 g it does not require regular irrigation but the end trees can be watered during the summer intercropping can be done with chillies bendy brinjal pulses until it reaches the bearing stage pre treatment of seeds such as soaking of seeds in water or 25 ppm naa for 24 hours or soaking seeds in gibberellic acid at 500 ppm for 48 hours have shown to enhance germination percentage identification of male and female inflorescence the flowers develop on a separate drooping catkins female flower the female head is oblong ovoid 
and carpus and cylindrical. The stem will be much larger and the presence of a collar around the fruit is seen. It has a hard bumpy skin surface. The active bud developed from the trunk as well as from the main scaffold branches. Male flower. Male head is a sessile or on short pedicles, sometimes born on the ultimate twig. Small flowers with shorter stem. No collar is seen in these flowers. It has a soft surface in comparison with the female flower. The male flowers are picked up to rub on the female flower for pollination in a restricted condition. Pollen is usually seen between 8.30 to 9.30 am in the morning. Fruiting usually begins 7 to 8 years after the plant. Pollination Protandry in nature. Cultivar set fruits with self-pollination but seeds it in many other fruit characters such as size, flesh and edible percentage were greatly enhanced with cross-pollination. Also mostly propagated using wind and insect pollination. However, hand pollination is found to be most effective in case of breeding objectives. Due to the highly cross-pollinated nature of the crop, vegetative propagation is essential in order to maintain prototype genotypes. Propagation After a long history of seed propagation, a high degree of variability in fruit quality existed among jackfruit genotypes and superior selections could only be propagated in this by grafting. Genetic diversity and varieties There are two main varieties of jackfruit. One is small, fibrous, soft, mushy and sweet carpel called a sarasal and the other variety is crisp and crunchy but not very sweet known as sikapa. There are other few important varieties and released from various organizations. Kongan prolific from Maharashtra, Singapore or Ceylon Jag was introduced into Tamil Nadu from Sri Lanka, which is a precious variety due to its early fruiting type within 3 to 4 years from planting. Palur 1 Jag It was developed from TNAU, is a clonal selection from local variety of Pandruti. It is a high yielding with medium height less spreading and suitable for high density planting. PP1 Jack also developed from TNAU is a clonal selection from local variety near Pechipare. It is a medium tall tree with fruit bearing occurring twice annually. Palur 2 Jack It is a clonal selection from Patira Kote local. It possesses good quality and bigger size fruits and has high palatable and edible flakes which fetches more price due to attractive characters and better keeping quality resulting in increased income to the farmer. Swarna The University of Agricultural Sciences developed this variety as a good yielder that bears fruits in bunches on a trunk, primary and also secondary branches. Hybrid Jack It is a cross between Singapore Jack and Veli Pala. Plant tissue culture in jackfruit. To maintain the true type quality fruit, tissue culture technique could be used for the propagation of jackfruit throughout the year. Healthy and juvenile shoot tips were used for explanting purpose and cultured in Murashik school medium. Successful micropropagation was carried by culturing nodal segments on a modified MS medium along with plant growth regulators, that is, a combination of 18 mg per liter of benzyl adenine and 0.2 mg per liter of indolbutric acid. Culturing and culture condition The shoot tip explants cultured on MS medium supplemented with different plant growth regulators were maintained for 15 days on a shoot multiplication medium. The cultures were maintained in a growth room at a temperature of 26 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius with a 16 hour light and 8 hour darkness and the elimination of 25 micromolar photosynthetic flux provided by the fluorescent light. Subculturing was performed every 15 days. Chemical composition. The fruit provides about 2 megajoules of energy per kilogram weight of the ripe period. Jackfruit has reported to contain high levels of protein, starch, calcium and thiamine. Jackfruit has a low caloric content that is 100 gram of fruit contain 94 calories. Jackfruit is a rich source of potassium with 303 mg found in 100 gram of jackfruit, which helps to reduce the blood pressure. Jackfruit also contains phytonutrients such as ligands, isoflavones and saponins which have anti-cancer, anti-hypertensive, anti-ulcer and anti-aging properties. Jackfruit also contains niacin that is known as vitamin B3 
necessary for the energy metabolism, malfunction and the synthesis of certain hormones. Pharmacological activity. It is a good source of vitamin C. The human body does not make any vitamin C, so one must eat food that contains vitamin C to reap its health benefit. Jackfruit has found to be health those suffering from asthma. Boiling the root of jackfruit and extracting and consuming it with high nutritional content have been ill found to control asthma. Processing in the jackfruit. Jackfruit is a highly fibrous fruit. It has a thick skin enclosing the seeded pod to which also others a lot of fibrous tissue. Peeling and cleaning of the fruit to make it fit for processing is a difficult process. Careful investigations reveal that the recovery of juice from the fruit is only just about 10%. The second aspect to be noted is the strong flavor of the fruit that makes it unpalatable. The flavor has to be largely removed by exhaustion during the process. For jam making, after the extraction of juice and pulp in the pulper, the extracted mass is taken to the kettle where it is cooked under the influence of jacketed steam. Sugar is then added with desired quantities and the mass is further cooked until the thick mass fluid is formed with a reading of 65 to 70 bricks. After cooking, the required quantities of citric acid, pectin, flavors and color are added and the mass is stirred thoroughly. The mass after homogeneous mixing is emptied into the steel containers from where they are poured into cups of 200 grams capacity. On cooling, the jam sits. For production of chips, raw tender fruit is taken. After removing the fibrous matter, the slices are dried in the tray dryer. After drying, they are fried in the thermostat fryer, shaken to remove excess oil and dusted with salt and spices before being packed in the packing machine. For the preparation of jackfruit nectar, the bulb is removed from the ripe jackfruit and passed through the pulping mill. They are then mixed with about 10% hot water and passed through a pulper having a fine sieve of 1 mm hole. The pulp is used for preparing nectar. Thank you.